Yeah, look, it's uh, it's a disappointing three points that we've lost. Uh, we've still got four games to, to go, so there's still uh, 12 points up for grabs. Uh, uh, it's disappointing. I think uh, we, get, we gave them two goals for our, our poor defensive setup and not uh, being probably more aggressive uh, with two set pieces, two exact same goals, uh, to be honest. So I thought we were quite comfortable in the first half. Uh, we got our goal. And then second half, like I said, they scored uh, two goals from uh, set pieces. And uh, we probably gave them opportunities when we were chasing the game as well in transition. So that's pretty much it. I thought we were quite, uh, quite comfortable in control of the game. Uh, didn't probably create as much as we've liked in the first half, but uh, I think we had a couple of good opportunities in the second half where uh, Paul's made some uh, fine saves uh, for them and we walk away empty handed. What do you think of what went wrong obviously we did win the first ball and then uh, the second ball that dropped we were second best to it so and the first goal uh, obviously they win the header and we're reactive uh, and we don't pick up a player that's free that's making a run at the back post so uh, you know the setup I thought uh, for an outswinger the, the boys set up too deep they should have come a little bit more forward a couple of steps forward and also with the wind holding the ball up uh, they should have adjusted a bit better and we did it and for me losing a game the way that we did with poor defending uh, is not good enough Yeah, we, we believe uh, we're a good team. We believe we can uh, try to push again. Look, like I said, there's 12 points up for grabs. We've got to do our best to to, to try to get uh, all points. Uh, is it going to be difficult? Definitely, uh, against the, the opponents that we play. But uh, the reality is, like I said, I thought we were quite comfortable today. We gave we gave away two soft goals, two, uh, two moments of poor defending, uh, allowed them to walk away with three points. Is those saves, that pair of saves, they were matched in? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, if we uh, score there, I think the game is uh, pretty much done. Uh, but like he, like I said earlier, Paul made some uh, two two great saves uh, and kept them in the game and and allowed them to uh, to walk away with the three points. Just on Zalata because he scored his thirteenth today. I mean, how good a striker is he? You know, showing his class in the first season. Yeah, Oscar got his goal today. Uh, I'm pleased for him in that sense. But uh, did we get uh, enough out of Oscar today? I'm not too sure. Did we uh, get enough balls? Uh, for him to be able to uh, score. Uh, I think he might have had a header uh, in the second half, but other than that, I don't, I don't think uh, we, we gave him more opportunities to, to, to get on the scoreboard. You say his goal, he scored one. I mean, is that an issue that, um, you know, you can't get more out of him? And possibly... uh, it's not more out of him. It's not just, uh, also uh, you play with 11 players and players around him are the ones that feed him the ball. So uh, did we get the ball enough into those areas for Oscar to be influential? I don't think we did. Yeah, we've got a longer turnaround uh, for our next game. We play Monday in Melbourne, so we've got a few extra days where we can uh, firstly let the boys recover and then implement what we're going to do against the opponent. Uh, we did have a, a lot of time. We had a lot of play, players away, obviously, in the international break uh, with the national team. So we had a smaller group that uh, trained with the group. So we had a, a three-day turnaround leading into this game to implement what we wanted to do. So we, we tried something a little bit different today. I, I don't know if you noticed in the first half, but uh, I thought it went well. Uh, and then as we made some changes, we, we, we sort of like went back into our own shape. So, yeah, for me, look, it's football. Uh, if you give up two soft goals or two easy goals like that, it's hard to win games. Yeah, we play a bit more with width uh, to stretch the opponents. Uh, I don't think we did it uh, as often as we should have, uh, to be honest. Uh, Sats went inside as a 10, uh, and, and we, we made sure we had the three at the back with Ruth sitting in front for those transition moments. Uh, and like I said, towards the back end of the game, when you're chasing the game, obviously you're going to leave a bit more, a bit, bit more exposed in those moments. Uh, but Oli made some fantastic saves. No, it was, it was more the way that we wanted to set up. I wanted three central defenders along the back line in the way that we set up with uh, Conchi and uh, Jan playing a little bit wider and give us that, uh, that, that cover uh, in transition moments against uh, players like uh, Falami and Economides with the, with the pace that they have, uh, especially for us in possession, and also gave us an extra number in the next line to, to try to play through them. No, I think I answered that question during the week. Uh, articles will be written. Uh, that's your job about writing articles. Uh, and then you ask me the question whether it's true or not. So uh, it's all part of the game. It's all part of football. 
No, we spoke. I spoke to Papa uh, today. I asked how his sons are going. His sons are currently overseas in Croatia. So, yeah, the opportunity to, to fly over for five days to see his boys, which he was quite quite pleased about, and, and that's pretty much it.